have seen me do lots of videos on huckleberries in the past, but today it's all about flathead cherries. In northwestern Montana, I've got some Bing and I've got some Rainier. I think we're gonna go back to the cabin and make some cherry French toast. Let's give it a try. But first things first, have to have a big old sip of Montana's treasure. In my opinion, the best water in the world. My wife says I just fall for their marketing, that it's probably not special water, but for some reason that little diamond pattern in the bottle with the mountains. Wow! I washed up some of the bean variety of the flathead cherries and I cut them in half. I had to pull the pits out the best that I could. Got a little two quart Dutch oven here on the Blackstone griddle. This is gonna be our saucepan. And I'm gonna put those, you can see those cherries are very ripe by the way, and that's what we want. Followed by some sugar. And I'm just eyeballing this, but it's gonna be a couple of tablespoons per the amount of um, cherry that I have in there. So a little bit of sugar, a little bit of orange juice. Orange juice works very well when you're making a cherry syrup or if you're making cherries jubilee. A Little bit of cornstarch to help thicken that up. And I could add a little more later if I need to. So we're gonna put that on there. Ooh, you can instantly see, by the way, instantly see those cherries starting to seep out that gorgeous reddish color. Finding brioche bread was tough yesterday, but Walmart had their bakery fresh brioche. The only thing that I'm not a fan of is the fact that they slice it so thin. See, when I want to do a decadent French toast, I like it nice and thick. So a rule of thumb that I have for making French toast, and you could have your own, is generally one egg per big old slice of French toast. So we'll probably do three or four slices here, so maybe start out with four eggs. And to that, I'm gonna add a French vanilla coffee creamer. I definitely suggest the regular kind. Don't go with non-fat because we want the extra fat. This could be heavy whipping cream, but we are gonna use some French vanilla coffee creamer. So I'm gonna go in there and whisk that up with my fork. If you've watched my videos over the years, you see that I always augment this with vanilla, with uh, almond extract, with cinnamon. Hey, I don't have any of that with me this morning, but we're gonna go basic today because of course we want the cherries to be the star of the show. And you can see our plan is definitely coming together here. Uh, we want this to be red and it is red. Take my syrup and kind of tuck that back in the corner for now. It looks like it's simmering just the way I want it to. Griddle top's on medium, it's pretty darn hot. I'm gonna keep it down around medium or medium low. Now when I'm doing French toast or pancakes, I want it to be hot, but not nearly as hot as you wanna have your griddle top when you're searing up meat, okay? Because you don't wanna burn the French toast. So I'll put my hand there and I'll go to what I feel is a meat searing temperature and I'll actually go down a little bit below that. See, we can always turn the temperature up on French toast. It's too easy to burn it and then of course you can't recover a piece of burned French toast. Uh, Blackstone's non-stick griddle spray. This could be canola oil, could be whatever you want to use. Brioche in to my batter, my French toast mixture. Just a few seconds on each side, we'll flip it over with a fork. This is why I like the big thick slices, by the way, because when you're flipping them, it's so easy to ruin your French toast, so easy to break that bread apart, but I think that looks good. And we're gonna pull this out and put it straight down on my griddle top. You can hear that sizzle straight away, you can hear that sizzle. Now, I will also say that when you're doing French toast, when you're doing uh, pancakes, flapjacks, when you're doing crepes, sometimes there is a little bit of trial and error. And a lot of times, the first time around, you burn it, or maybe it isn't hot enough. Just be forewarned of that. When you're making pastry types of recipes on the Blackstone, you need to dial it in sometimes. So I'm gonna take my spatula, I'm gonna go down there. Ooh, ooh, that's, 
See, this has been, um, I don't know how long this has been. How long has it been, Hannah? 20 seconds? Um, probably. 20 seconds. We're gonna go in there with the flip. I was checking underneath. And perfect, that's perfect, perfect. See, just little accents of brown and yellow on there, but it's not burned. And just another 20 seconds, 30 seconds or so on the other side. That one's looking good. And this one is looking good as well. I'll cut these up diagonally, and I could have did this on the griddle top, but uh, trying to be extra refined this one, extra neat, I guess. Let's plate it up. Let's go with three slices here. I was gonna go with four, but Hannah, behind the camera, reminded me that things in threes and odd numbers look better. So, shout out to Hannah. Our cherry syrup actually looks delicious. I'm not just tooting my own horn. I did a practice batch last night, and this looks better than the practice batch. I'm gonna pour that on there. Oh yeah, it's gonna be messy, but at the same time, we don't wanna smother it, folks. So I'm gonna try to go like a ribbon of it. I'm imagining like a ribbon straight down, you know, straight down on the package there. And then if you want to, I suppose I can take a little extra, a little extra sauce and maybe drizzle it like that. A little bit of whipped cream on there. Maybe something like that. Whoa. <laughs> Let's give it a try. French toast glistening in the Montana sun. Mmm, it's so good. Everybody over there, you wish you had some of this. Mmm, mmm. Oh, it's perfect. You know, I think the fact that I didn't put vanilla in the syrup great decision because it allows the cherries to definitely be the star of the show and of course you know the whipped cream and the French vanilla coffee syrup was enough to give it that decadence mm. Thanks for watching everybody. Check us out at blackstoneproducts.com and make sure you're watching all of our shows. Let me know what kind of French toast you want to see me make next. But until next time, this is Todd up here in Eureka, Montana. I'm saying praise the Lord and pass the flathead cherry French toast. Mm. That is so good. <laughs>